Okay, my friends, it is time. It is time for the Ashley's All the Theater 2023 theater recap. I know you have been anxiously awaiting this. It took me days. It took me days this year. My main resolution is to track my month so I don't have to do all of this in one day because it took forever. Here we go. Let us begin. This year I saw 224 shows. You're like, wow, that's a lot of theater. Yeah, that's a lot of theater. That's so much theater that I thought I saw 222 shows until I started going through it and realized that I had like miscalculated because I track three different methods, which is a choice. So 224 shows, 130 musicals, 88 plays, and nine other. Other would be like the Met Opera because it's not a musical or a play. Other would be like Cocktail Magique, which is a magic show. That's what it looks like. It's a lot of theater. Theater by month. Notice January, a little measly five shows. That's because January I was gone for almost a whole month because I went to Antarctica. February though, we jumped up, we got 18. And then March was my most theater month, which is 25 shows in March. There are 31 days in March. And I think there's a weird, interesting trend here. So in April and then also in o September, October, and December, I saw 23 shows each, like exactly 23 in those four months. In May, June, and November, I saw 16 shows, exactly. I saw 17 and 20 also. So that's my theater by month. Theater by type. We have 85 Broadway shows. You might be wondering, are there even 85 shows on Broadway? The answer is no. I see a lot of repeats. 81 off-Broadway shows, 28 regional shows, 16 West End shows, 16 other, that would be like college, high school, that type of thing. Nine readings and one tour. Readings are like when I was invited to workshops and then tour was the Hades Town National Tour in uh, Toronto. So this is an interesting stat too, I thought. 138 new shows which is a lot of new theater, like theater that I've never seen before. And then 86 repeated shows. And for this clarification, repeated shows are not same production. For example, I counted Sweeney Todd as a repeated show this year, even though it was new this year because I saw Sweeney Todd in 2006 and it's the same story. And I didn't think it was different enough to count as a new show. But I also saw The Tempest at the Delacorte Theater and I counted that as a new show, even though I've seen The Tempest before because this was like a musical and had a cast of like a hundred children. Like to me, that was different enough that it counted as a new show. So that's kind of where I count that, if you wanna know. I, I said before, I see a lot of repeats. Now these are same production repeats, same production repeats. 12 times Hades Town, which honestly, Less than I was expecting. I kind of thought we'd be in like 15 to 18, but no, 12. 11 times on Broadway, once on tour. We saw five Bad Cinderella. Honestly, iconic. I saw four shows four times. Once Upon a One More Time, Shocked, Sweeney Todd, and Angeliette. All that tracks. I saw three shows three times. Parade, Here Lies Love, and Infinite Ranch, which is the New York Near Futurists. And then I saw a bunch of shows at the bottom. You can see it two times. So all of those shows I saw twice. I like to see shows more than once. And a lot of times a show that I might not like the first time, I will actually really like the second time. So I see a lot of shows twice. Shows by location. I wanted a little more like, like d diversity of location. I did not travel as much for theater this year. Like I did a couple of big trips for theater, but I went back to the same places a lot. I, my goal for the year was three new states and I got two new states and a new country. So like. That's cool. Connecticut and Pennsylvania were the two new states. And then I saw a show in Paris. 188 shows in New York City, which tracks. 17 shows in London, which is very exciting for me. For two, I went to two different London trips. Um, five shows in DC, four shows in California, four shows in New Jersey over two different theaters, four shows in Massachusetts over, I think three different theaters, two shows in Virginia, two shows in New York State, two in Connecticut, and then one in all those different places at the bottom, including Canada, a bunch of places in the UK and Pennsylvania and ticket source. Okay. The only reason my life is sustainable is because of TikTok. I was invited to 91 shows this year, which is a staggering number. I don't think I even realized that until I was putting it together and I was like, oh wow, this is so many shows. And I appreciate you all so much for watching. And then 34 shows I bought directly, which meant like from the box office or from the website, 22 shows I use TDF. If you are not in on TDF and live in New York City, like get on TDF if you qualify, because right now there are so many Broadway shows on there. 22 shows I use an under 35 program. That would be like Roundabout, a lot of Playwrights Horizons, like a lot of theaters have ticket programs if you're under 35. 13 are membership. That would be like Show Score has a member's ticket or member's nights. There are other membership programs that you're not allowed to talk about on the internet. 
that falls into there. 11 on Today Tix. Most of that was London. Today Tix is amazing, but they are so good for London theater. That's how I use Today Tix for the most part. I also have eight Rush tickets, and probably most of those are Today Tix, but I separated them out because I wanted them to be separated between Rush and Today Tix. 10 were gifts. Those are like my parents, or when I went to Wicked with Kate, because Kate won the tickets on Wicked 20. Those were gifted, as in like she gave them to me, and I did not get invited. Eight Rush and three Ushering. And then finally, this is my 2024 look ahead. I'm so excited for so much theater next year. There's a lot coming. I have another London theater trip coming up for Hades Town in London, which I'm so excited about. Also standing at the sky's edge there. I just can't wait. Thank you so much for coming along with me this year. It's been a wild journey and I have two more videos coming, top 10 musical and top 10 plays of the year and possibly like goals. Thank you. You're all the best. I can't believe it. What a 224 shows. Who am I?